Do you believe in the paranormal? Whether you believe or you are a skeptical, we hope that you find our personal experiences with the paranormal interesting. The Legend of Spirit Rock says that a young Indian princess fell in love with a chief from an enemy tribe. Her family turned against her because of this. In her sorrow and despair, she waited until night and she left to her death off the cliffs and onto the rocks. Today it is said that when the angles and the lighting are just right, you can see a face from the cliffs below. The Koran was a 17-room mansion that began construction in 1882 by Alexander and Hester McNeil. The stone used to build the Koran was quarried on site. Alexander served as federal member of parliament for North Bruce from 1881 to 1901. When Alexander died, the Koran was left to his son Malcolm. Under Malcolm, the property and the family fortune deteriorated, and then when Malcolm passed away, he willed the Koran to his housekeeper. In 1960, the housekeeper sold the Koran to a resident of Toronto. Without a full-time resident, the Koran fell victim to vandals. In 1976, Gray Sabo Conservation acquired the property. Soon after, the Koran caught fire. Now all that remains is the ruins of this once grand mansion. What's going on everybody? This is Rain. And Jano. From Sinister RP. And today, we're going to be going to Spirit Rock. Well, I guess we're off. We're off. Let's go check it out. Wait, I need to download it. Now I'm going to warn you, it says stay on the trail because there's poison ivy. Yeah. Don't go into the poison ivy. No, I catch it very easily. Capture the ghosts, not the poison ivy. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's not creepy walking up to it. Here we come up to the mansion. Well, what's left of the mansion. You can go ahead first. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give a little history? Want to give a little history to this bad boy? Well, this is the mansion. It was called the Koran. Um, over here we have the floor plan to it, some of the history. Koran means Gaelic for point of land running into the sea. These ruins. Alright, we got a lot to explore here, guys. Yeah. Just a shell. Used to be 17 room mansion and now it's just a shell yeah. due to a fire. Vandals.
oak oak over there might be a kind of cool place to try an EVP. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, I think we're going to run our first EVP here. All right, let's do this. We're going to run our first EVP here, guys. And, of course, we're using our faithful Necrophonic app. Here we go. Let's figure it out. There's one thing I do want to do with this, though. Yeah. I don't want to ask a whole lot of questions, guys, on this one, because I noticed on the part three that we just released for Followed Home, um, there was a lot of voices that came through when we were asking questions, and I found out we were, we were asking them too many. So this one, I kind of want to let it be a little bit silent, and let's see what we can pick up, okay? Um. Is there anybody that wants to communicate with us? Can you tell us your name? Is there any message that you'd like to relay to anybody? You sat in that this place was destroyed by vandals. Was there a rival tribe that lived here in the area? Did somebody kill themselves? Is there anything that you'd like to say to us? We couldn't believe it when we heard Bob come through, but when we heard the wind go, so we didn't hear Wendigo in the first recording until we listened to it back on the edit. Okay, we're going to go now. Goodbye. 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 I gotta, uh, honestly, it's hard for me to understand it until they go back into edit. Yeah. But no doubt there was some weird activity there. Yeah, for um, sure. So that was here in the mansion, the Koran. So I guess we'll see if we can find the actual uh, rock yeah. where the uh, Indian princess jumped. Yeah. All right. Maybe she communicated. Maybe. Let's try. Yeah. Here we go, guys. This is this. This is this. Oh, God. This is this spiral stick. I hate heights. <laughs> Did I ever tell you I have a fear of heights? It's about your foot, isn't it? Yeah. It's weird. From the pictures, it looked like the spiral staircase was wood. Right. But it's not. And you can go right behind. It's on that one. And you can wait Okay. Let's get a little shot of that because that that's pretty cool.
Yeah, we're gonna run our second EVP sesh here. And again, I'm gonna be quite silent with it because I just want to be able to really pick up the voices and see what they're trying to say to us. So anybody that wants to speak to us? Is there anybody here? Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us how you died? Can you tell me how you died again? Are you trapped here? Are you lost here? Are you bothered by our presence being here? Bob? Bob? I was sure I heard Bob too. I hope it's not the same Bob. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye now. Goodbye. Bye. Whoa, that was kind of creepy at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> that literally, I'm pretty sure that said Bob. Oh, that sounded like Bob. That's just weird. It is. I'm going to have to, I think we should also take some photos. Yep. Um, yep to showcase, because we'll sure. maybe it'll pick something up. At, uh, maybe. Recording. Maybe. Okay, I guess we'll go and scout out uh, one more spot here for you guys. And if you guys are enjoying this, let us know if you guys want us to come back to Spirit Rock or not. No? This is, yeah. this is our, actually our first time visiting it. And it's been quite interesting learning the history to it and seeing and, the site uh, so far. Yeah, it's super, super close to home too. Yeah. So let us know, guys. Okay, let's go ahead to right. the next spot. So you guys are about to learn why Jeno should never have the camera in her hands again. Okay, so we're just coming up to the ruins of the barn. I think we'll try an EVP over here. Everywhere else there's so many tourists. Oh yeah. Ooh. Almost tripped in the grass. Oh yeah, this is wicked. I just gotta try not to fall. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's run this little last EVP. I think we're fine, guys. 
Let's see who looks like a primo spot for spoitas. Spoitas, yep. Woo, yeah, look at that. <laughs> no, let's not make the mammoth spider come out at me. <laughs> Tarantulas are tarantulas. Spiders are different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, see who wants to communicate. Can you tell us your name? Bob, not again. Bob, you have to leave us alone. That's right, you go. Bob, are you a demon? Bitch. Say bitch. I don't know. Yo. Yo. Are you a demon, Bob? Do you roam these areas, Bob? Is there anyone else that wants to communicate with us? Can you say that again? Are you able to tell us our names? Did I just have death? No. We're going to leave this place now. Nobody and nothing is allowed to follow us. Or attached to anything of that belongs to us. Goodbye. 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 I would like to hear them say bye back. Bye. weird okay yeah you really cannot weird. follow us home son of a bitch you're not <laughs> saying bye anymore that's not a good thing <laughs> no especially if bob is a demon yeah that's not cool why the hell is bob coming through here like i don't know now i gotta find some answers out i really hope bob did not attach himself to us i really hope he didn't tell us what you guys think all right okay until next time, see you guys later. Bye, guys.